Now we'll move on to the topic one that's about industrial disputes and its causes. So what is exactly industrial dispute is all about? Industrial disputes is actually you know mainly uh, you know it's it's between a strife between an employer and their employees. So according to the Industrial Disputes Act 1947 uh, section 2k says that industrial disputes means any kind of a difference of opinion or disputes between an employer and an employee or between employers and a workman or between a workman and workman which is connected with employment or non-employment or terms of an employment or with the conditions of a labor of any person so like this you know on various kind of a condition so if you look at it actually you know very specifically uh, it could be an you know dispute or a difference between employer and employers and employers between two companies or between employer and a workman between an employee and employee employer or it could be between two employees itself or it could be you know connected with an employment or it could be non-employment related thing it could be let's say in terms of you know purchasing or supplying those kind of a thing it could be not it's non-employment thing or in terms of you know uh, employment with a condition of labor of any person so working condition of a labor that also will be taken into consideration so these are the ways actually you know industrial disputes uh, considering the various kind of an options uh, they come out of the very broad uh, kind of a definition so that way legally you know uh, this industrial disputes can be dealt with it has got its own act and other things and all now let's try to look at what is the causes of an industrial disputes why this industrial dispute arises the causes of an industrial disputes uh, can be you know classified or probably grouped into four major categories uh, one could be industrial factor that means uh, how is the working conditions and those related aspects and the second kind of a category could be let's say the management uh, or an employer attitude towards an you know worker so based on that you know there could be a uh, dispute can arise the third one is government machinery how the government you know come out then uh, time to time rules and regulations and based on that you know there could be a dispute can arise and other than that you have the other causes so these are the ways actually you know broadly we can classify the causes of industrial disputes into four major categories now let's look at each of this category in detail coming to the industrial factor uh, under this particular category some of the causes of disputes may be you know let's say like uh, an industrial matter relating to let's say employment opportunity equal employment opportunity uh, so if the fair kind of you know treatment has not been provi provided with respect to the employment uh, process what you call your recruitment and selection process there could be a dispute can arise and uh, with respect to the you know work the nature of work uh, the style of work so there uh, you know dispute can arise or it could be in the form of you know wage hours how much is the wage and what is the kind of an you know, hours uh, they have been asked to work and uh, the compensation for all the way you know were, were hours are they providing it and the kind of privileges uh, you know through the rules and regulations many companies try to restrict the employees you know activities so they are you know the privileges they'll be losing it so in order to gain that kind of a privileges uh, employee can uh, go ahead with an industrial factor so other than that you know the rights and obligation of an employee and an employer so what are the rights and what are the kind of you know do's and don'ts and those kind of aspects and other than that you know employer terms and conditions of an employment uh, including you know matters pertaining to let's say like uh, let's say the employer is trying to take a disciplinary action against an employee in the form of a dismissal or non-employment of any person so that could be one of the major reasons and other than that you know there could be a registered agreement or a settlement or an award uh, where employer is not trying to exercise it in terms of uh, you know announcing a bonus or probably you know paying certain areas or uh, you know so many other related things or it could be let's say demarcation when i talk about demarcation it's nothing but how they try to differentiate uh, or establishing a power distance between an you know let's say like executive cadre and an employee you know employee cadre so of the functions of an employee an industrial matter in which both the parties are directly and substantially interested or it could be a disputes arising out of an unemployment uh, suddenly you know there's some kind of a disciplinary action has been taken or inflation 
and uh, you know uh, even when there is inflation had happened you know company has not supported them in terms of city compensation allowance or their own dearness allowance and other things and all and change in the attitude of an employers and uh, rivalry among you know both so because of this reason the industrial factors you know there could be a dispute can arise the second kind of a thing is your management attitude toward a labor this is a very common sense uh, topic so where how they you know the uh, top organization try to you know treat the employees so because of the you know kind of a thing uh, there could be a dispute can arise say for example management's un unwilling to talk over any dispute with an employees so there you know the dispute can arise they can go ahead with uh, you know uh, the actions and the second one is management unwilling to recognize a particular trade union or delegating enough authority to the representatives etc so there could be you know uh, thing can arise and uh, unwillingness to you know negotiate and settlement of disputes and management insisting to take uh, care of the recruitment promotion etc without consulting the concerned uh, employees management un unwillingness to provide a services and benefits to their employees because of all these reasons basically you know management attitude towards the labor because of this you know there could be an industrial dispute will arise the third kind of you know uh, group or a category of an industrial dispute is your government uh, machinery government machinery could be you know though there are number of enactment for promotion of uh, you know harmonious kind of relations uh, it is ineffective and unsatisfactory due to various reasons like uh, you know what happens is like uh, industrial climate and a culture there is no particular kind of a law and uh, there could be an irrelevance of the context of the challenge of present industrial climate and a culture so in order to bring about best kind of industrial climate and a culture uh, you know government uh, has to come out of the legal kind of you know uh, proceedings and incapability of understanding and answering imperatives of development and improper and inadequate implementation by many employers on various fronts so because of that you know the government through the government machinery through the legal kind of forces they can go ahead with and government consolation machinery as settled a very uh, you know negligible amount of a dispute so far because the government machinery does not support and try to provide a best kind of you know uh, solution for it so because the government has not taken right kind of you know decisions or support for the employees you know there is an industrial disputes can happen uh, between an you know, employer and an employee there could be another causes uh, it could be let's say affiliation of trade union with the political party so the later actually has got an you know trade union to conduct a strike and lockout and garage etc and political instability at the center and state relations and sometime result in an industrial conflict because the political uh, associations also this can happen and other than that you know potential factors like corruption in the industry like public life easy money and uh, you know etc can also result in an industrial disputes so so these are the kind of you know reasons or probably you know uh, logic behind the going ahead causes for the industrial disputes